Hey guys, thank you for joining. Today I'm going to show you how visual calculations work in Power BI. Visual calculations are part of the February 2024 Power BI update and guess what? I'm so ready to give it a shot. So without further ado, let's do this. So first things first, what are visual calculations? Like I said before, this update is part of the February 2024 Power BI update. And these are DAX calculations that are defined and executed directly on a visual. So I'm gonna show you here how these things work. Let's get started. So before we get started here, something really important as well is that you need to activate this option in Power BI. If you haven't done it yet, you're gonna go over here, file, and then options and settings, go to options. And once you are here, go over the preview features and make sure that visual calculations is activated. Close your Power BI desktop and then reopen the file again. And that way you will see the changes there. Okay, so let's get started with the running sum. How does it work? Like I said before, this is a visual that we already created. This is a metrics visual. The next step here is select the visual, go over this option, it says new calculation. So let's perform a quick calculation here. Let's say that we wanna calculate gross profit. So this is quite straightforward. See right here, it's current sales minus current costs. And then let's hit enter, boom. The next step here is to use the running sum feature that we have here, the template that we already have here. So let's do that. Check this out. And then we have this function called running sum. This is a new function. And then we're gonna replace here the field. For this particular case, we care about gross profit. So let's select gross profit. Once we are done, let's approve the changes and let's see what happens. See right there? Now on the top, you can see that this is working perfectly fine. So this is bananas, my friends. And something additional, you can also give this a specific format. And this is currency, so let's do that. If you wanna edit this calculation, what you need to do is go over here and then edit calculation. And then here, you need to use the format function. You might be familiar with this function. Comma here, and then guess what? This should be currency. Let's approve the changes, boom. Now you have this currency symbol over here. So it's working perfectly fine. Okay, back to report. Now we are done with the running sum. So now let's talk about moving average. Moving average is really, really helpful if you wanna smooth a specific trend. So let's do this. Let's select the visual. Once you are here, new calculation again, and then go over here. Let's go over the templates. Let's go over the moving average template and then for fill let's use gross profit okay and then for window size so we get about a 12 month average because this information as you can see this is monthly month over month let's approve the changes and let's see what happens boom and now bingo my friends you can see here the moving average line so much better and then go back to report you can start playing with this. You can do whatever you want. The results are there. Now let's move on and talk about the percentage of parent. This is also a really, really nice one. Let's go over here again, select the visual, go to new calculation. Once we are here, let's go to the template and then select percent of parent. Here, something really important. Let's select field, control shift L and let's type current cells. Boom. For axis, it should be rows, okay? Because remember the calculation is performed on the visual. So it's gonna be at the row level here. So once we are done, let's approve these changes. Let's see what happens. Boom. You can see the results here, but there is something here that is not visually attractive. Let's go over here again, edit calculation, and let's do the following, okay? We're gonna use here the round function and then you're gonna see why I'm doing this 
right there. I'm going to multiply this by 100. And then I want to round this to two decimals only. Once I do that, the next step is going to be to add the percentage symbol. A person here as well. And then the percentage symbol. So let's see if this is formatted correctly. Okay, I need to remove this parenthesis because run is right here. And then let's approve the changes. Let's see what happens. Boom. So now this looks so much better, right? Two decimals. We have also the percentage symbol over there. Great. Let's go back to report. Next feature, percentage of grand total. This is very similar. Select the visual, go over the new calculation. Once you're there, what we need to do is go over the template again and then hit percent of grand total. Same story here. Let's focus on current cells. Control Shift L, you can select multiple fields here and let's select here current cells. And then for axis, same story here. This is gonna be at a row level. Boom. Let's approve the changes. Perfect. And then, like I said before, we can also add the format here. Let's do this. Let's go over here, edit calculation, and then same story around here. You can even move this over here. Two decimals, close parenthesis, a person, and then add the percentage symbol. We're good to go. Let's approve these changes. Boom. It is there. Back to report. Now let's go over the average of children. This is also a really good one. Select the visual again, new calculation. Once you're there, go to the template again and then select average of children. Same story here for field. Let's select here just current cells and then access this is going to be at a row level again. Hit OK. Boom. Something important here again. If you want to see the right format, you can also customize this a little bit better. Let's go over here. Edit calculation. Format. And then here, comma. And this should be currency. Okay. Those parentheses. Boom. We are good to go. Back to report. Next one is going to be versus previous. This is also a great one. I already have here two different columns, current cell and last month cells. So let's give it a shot. Select the visual again, go to new calculation. And here we need to select versus previous. Same story here. Select field, control shift L, and then let's go over the current cells. So let's approve these changes and let's see what happens. Boom. And then we can also give this the right format. Let's give it a try. Edit calculation. And once you're done, let's hit approve and check this out. Boom, the results are there. And as you can see, this is basically Delta, right? Current cells minus last month cells. So this is working perfectly fine. Now let's go back to report. Let's go over the next one versus next. So this is very similar, select the visual. Let's go over new calculation. Once we are here, let's go over the template and then versus next. Same story here. Select field, control shift L, and let's select current cells. Boom. Let's approve these changes. And also you can give this a different format, like I said before. Great, this is working perfectly fine. Let's go back to report. 
and now you can see right versus next so January here is gonna be versus February and this is Delta this is working perfectly fine so December here versus January so this number right here is the same right here so it works perfectly fine so let's keep working guys we're almost done let's go over versus first similar story here select the visual new calculation let's go to the template here and then this should be versus first same story here current sales current sales and then we can also give the format right away it should be format So let's approve the changes. Boom, we are good to go. So what is going on here? Every single value is being compared against the first value. This number right here, 6,800, is being compared against this number right here, the first value that we have in the visual. And that, the difference is right here. So this is great, 1,340, because we are comparing December against January. So this is working perfectly fine. And finally, guys, let's go over the versus last feature. Similar story here, select the visual, go over new calculation. Once we are here, go to the template again, versus last, same story here, control shift L, and let's go and select here current cells. Let's give this the right format as well. bingo so this is working perfectly fine my friends so let's go back to report how does it work every number here on this visual is being compared against the last number on the visual here what's happening is that every single number on the visual is being compared against the last one right so the last one is 3640 and the first one here is 5,460. The difference is 1,820. And then the same is happening for the other values as well. Really, really powerful. No more complicated calculations in DAX. It's just quite straightforward. In terms of advantages, like I said before, it's quite straightforward to perform a calculation. No more complex DAX functions or calculations or expressions. It's quite straightforward right to the point. And then in terms of disadvantages, something to keep in mind is when you perform a calculation, that measure for that specific visual, it only works for that specific visual. You cannot use the same calculation on a different visual. You have to recreate this from scratch again, and that's a little bit painful. But anyways, this is still promising. And let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts. And as always, if you found this tutorial helpful, give me a thumbs up share with your friends and also check this tutorial out really really good content as well if you want to keep sharpening your power bi skills thank you guys for your time and see you in my next tutorial